Hey everyone, Marissa here from Wirewax Customer Success. Using Wirewax branching techniques, you can create clickable decision points in your video that can jump and loop your viewer to different timestamps in your video, allowing them to direct their own path as they engage with your content. So in this video, we'll go over how to create a branching video in Wirewax uh, in a matter of minutes. So first, let's check out a great example of a branching video with Wirewax. Um, in this example, each viewer has the chance to make the viewing experience unique to them and their interests at several different decision points. Um, the great thing about branching videos is that there are so many applications, um, not just in shoppable entertainment, but internal training videos, informational videos as well. So to check out this video and click around through all the different options, um, click here to check out our success article on creating a branching video or head over to the examples page on our website here to see even more creative branching examples. So now let's create a branching video of our own. Uh, branching in Wirewax requires all of your video assets to be uploaded as one singular file. So even if you've, if you've got several different segments of your branching video, you'll want to edit them together as one video file before uploading to Wirewax. If you haven't yet uploaded a video, check out our article here on getting started first. So once you've uploaded your video, you can start adding the interactivity. So let's start with a simple example with one decision point. In this video, we've got a promotional video for a new restaurant. Um, we want to spice up what would be a traditional marketing piece for this restaurant with some branching. So let's watch the finished product first. So at a certain point into the video, the viewer is presented with a couple of options to see inside the restaurant or to go behind the scenes to the kitchen. So choose one and the viewer is jumped to that segment and can watch their selection. At the end of the video, the viewer is presented with an option to go back to the beginning and make another selection. Chances are once a viewer has engaged the first time, they'll be curious about the rest of the options. So let's dive in and see how this video was created. Um, we've got a couple elements coming together to create this video. So let's look at the hotspots first. In our video, there were three clickable points of choice for our viewer, the two options, kitchen or restaurant, and the end option um, to go back to the beginning of the video. So to define these clickable points, we're using hotspots. Now since we don't really want any sort of icon to overlay uh, our great video footage, we're using invisible hotspots. So first we'll just scrub to the point in the video where the choice occurs. We've then drawn two hotspots, one for the restaurant and one for the kitchen. Uh, on the right side of the screen in the Hotspot Manager, we can define the jump point for each of these hotspots by selecting Jump to Point in Video from the drop-down menu. So clicking the Restaurant Hotspot will jump the viewer to about 11 seconds where that segment begins. Clicking the Kitchen Hotspot will jump the viewer to about 23 seconds and clicking the final button will return the user to the selection menu at nine seconds. So far, so good. There are a couple other optional elements we've added um, that really tie this video together. So if we pop over under time triggers, the first thing that we've added is an automatic pause point on the selection menu. This pauses the video until the viewer chooses one of the options so the video doesn't simply keep rolling. Next, we've added an automatic jump point to the end of the video after the first section ends, which is the restaurant section. Another option here would be to jump back to the selection menu. Lastly, we've added um, another automatic pause point at the end of the video that leaves the return to selection button up on the screen. Another option here could be to create a loop back to the beginning of the video after the video ends um, with a jump point. It's totally up to you. 
I hope this was helpful as you explore creating your own um, branching videos. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions click this widget on the bottom right corner in the studio and send us a chat or email us at support at wirewax.com. Cheers!